Welcome back, Emma here. Today we're covering CM cardiology coding. This is a follow-up from our live event, Getting to the Heart of the Matter, ICD-10 CM Cardiology Coding, presented by Christy Pollard. Let's jump to it. There is a specific code for chronic total coronary occlusion, but what about an acute total occlusion? The word chronic is a non-essential modifier, so can we use code I-25.82? The word chronic is shown in parentheses, but be sure to read the notes for code I-25.82 carefully. You will notice that the excludes one notes give instruction on coding acute coronary occlusion both with and without myocardial infarction using codes from other categories. Code I-25.82 is for chronic total occlusion or total occlusion not otherwise specified. In other words, code I-25.82 is the default code for total coronary occlusion. Acute total coronary occlusion is classified elsewhere. If a patient is admitted with an AMI and rushed to the cath lab for emergent stenting, can we assume that the artery stented was the one that caused the AMI and code it to the vessel stented? While it is likely that the treated vessel caused the AMI, best practice for the physician is to specify which artery is responsible for the AMI. We have seen physicians use terminology such as culprit lesion, which is acceptable for coding purposes. If a patient is admitted with chest pain due to an AMI and also has underlying CAD, do you assign a code for CAD with angina since the patient had chest pain? When a patient has CAD and chest pain and there is no indication that the two conditions are related, we recommend assigning the appropriate code for CAD without angina and a separate code for chest pain. If it is unclear if the chest pain is associated with the CAD, the physician should be queried to see if the underlying cause of the chest pain is known. Since chest pain can have various causes, both cardiac and non-cardiac, the coder should not assume chest pain is angina in a patient with CAD. What is the difference between code I-50.814, right heart failure due to left heart failure, and I-50.82, biventricular heart failure? How do we know which code to use? For coding purposes, we recommend coding according to the physician's diagnostic statement. Clinically, the difference has to do with the mechanism of right heart failure. Right ventricular failure is most often caused by left heart failure, but there may also be a separate cause. For example, a patient with biventricular heart failure may have right heart ventricular due to tricuspid valve disease but also has left ventricular failure. Again, we recommend coding according to the physician's diagnostic statement. If he calls it biventricular heart failure, assign code I-50.82. And if he calls it right heart failure due to left heart failure, assign code I-50.814. Thanks for stopping by. Be sure to visit our marketplace for upcoming events. If you need additional education, check out the link below to our online course, Diseases of the Circulatory System. If you haven't already, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on everything from the Haugen Consulting Group. We'll see you next time.